which obviously has never been brought to mobile before. Um, we are late for. Wow. A resolution? I'm not sure to tell you the truth. Look at the textures in the walls. Come across and look at the reflections. And then if we go here, the base of this lamp, see how they, the, the electrical outlet is being reflected in here? Mm -hmm. And then you look at the way the light reflects off the floor and gets the textures. Yeah, I know, it's kind of freaky. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is so weird, man. <laughs> this is freaking me out. <laughs> have, you, have you played with the different modes? No. Okay, so this is showing OpenGL 4.4. Okay. Mobile processors today use a subset called OpenGL ES. 3.0. Okay. So this is what we have made. If you look at this, that's what it would look like on a mobile processor today. So, and when you zoom in and you're looking at the eyes and right. other things, um, you just the reflections. Sure. Now, when I turn OpenGL 4.4 on, that's what it looks like. Wow, a little better. What's well, a massive difference? You can even do, we, we've we set it up so you can do halfway. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Look, just look at the ray tracing on the eyes. eyes. Look at the skin texture. Yeah. Um, the ears. You can see light coming through the ear. Yeah. So that's backscattering through the, through the ear, whereas over here you don't have anything close to that. So this is uh, technology specific to this tablet or is something that you guys can... Uh... It's it, The OpenGL 4.4 comes from the, the Tegra K1 processor that, that NVIDIA makes. Okay. So the processor is driving it all. Right, okay. Um, what we've done, you know, NVIDIA makes graphical processing units, makes GPUs that are in supercomputers and workstations and desktops, notebook computers, and all the way down to Tegra, which is our mobile solution. Tegra this is the fifth generation, so for Tegra 1, 2, 3, and 4, the GPU architecture that was in there was custom, right. just to get within the power envelope and that sort of thing. Meanwhile, on a whole different track, our supercomputers, workstations, and desktops were all using the same exact architecture, and that architecture enables things like the 